Hello, I'm Austin Seidler. I'm an undergraduate student at UAH, currently majoring in computer science, and today I will be presenting my research on creating and deploying automated software test procedures with regression testing. Now, software testing is a very important, but also a very time-consuming part of software development. So having a program that could run tests automatically seems like it would be a useful way to save some time. So this project involved the creation and deployment of automated tests in order to evaluate just how effective and worthwhile they can be. Software tests can generally be divided into two different types, black box tests and white box tests. Black box tests are run without any sort of knowledge of the structure or design of the software being tested. Now, for automated testing, which is run by a testing program, this doesn't just mean that the testing program does not know the internal code of the software being tested. It also means that things that might be obvious to you or me, such as the location of a button on the screen or whether or not a window has successfully opened, those two are not known by the testing program during black box testing. On the other hand, white box tests are run with knowledge of the structure and design of the software being tested, and the testing program can use information gathered from the software during the tests in order to inform it on what exactly its next steps should be. So, for example, if we look over here, we can see that a black box version of a test might instruct the testing program to move the cursor to a specific hard-coded location, perform a left click, and then wait two seconds, while a white box version of that same test might inform the testing program to find the location of the start button, click the start button, and then wait until a window has opened. Now, for this project, tests were specifically created with regression testing in mind, which refers to a testing method where all tests are rerun with whenever any sort of change is made to the software. This ensures that if a change is made to remove an error or a bug from one part of the software, that any errors or bugs that might pop up in other areas are, do not go unnoticed. Now, once you create an automated test, you can deploy it an unlimited amount of times. This is especially useful for regression testing due to how often it requires you to rerun tests. But when done properly, automated tests can save you a significant amount of time and effort. But if they are poorly implemented, they could instead just end up being a waste of that time and effort. So care should definitely be taken whenever designing and creating tests. Now to better understand how to better implement automated tests, I looked at both black box and white box tests and compared the two to see which one might be more worthwhile to create and discovered the following benefits and limitations. Black box tests, which involve the testing program just blindly executing a list of predetermined actions, were very quick and easy to create, but they were also highly fallible and they were unable to detect if the actions they had accomplished had actually succeeded. So for example, if a black box test instructed the, instructed the testing program to click in an area occupied by a text box, then type some text, we would expect the text box to then display the text that had been typed. However, a black box test would be unable to verify that that was actually the case. A white box test, on the other hand, allows the testing program to look to the software being tested for more information. This makes them more complex and time consuming to create but it also allowed the testing program to use information gathered during the white box test to verify that tests were actually proceeding as intended. So a white box test would allow the testing program to look at the text box and verify that text was successfully displaying. Now, if we look at these statistics over here, we can see that a white box version of this specific test case has more lines of code than the black box version, but it is successfully able to detect if a test has succeeded or if it has failed. White box versions also tend to be a little bit faster than the black box versions because they can look to the software being tested to see exactly whenever a specific action has successfully been performed and then immediately move on to the next. Whereas black box versions simply have hard coded delays that are long enough to ensure that any sort of delay that might occur in unusual circumstances is accounted for. So for example, if a program is connected to a server, a white box version can just see exactly 
whenever, for example, information is successfully retrieved from the server. Well, the black box version might simply have a delay long enough to be mostly certain that the information will arrive on time. So in conclusion, from the information gathered during this research project, it was determined that despite white box tests being more complex, they are more useful for the purposes of automated regression testing, since the ability for the testing program to verify the results of the tests on its own allows for a much higher degree of automation, which greatly streamlines the process of running many test cases in succession, which is very useful for saving time for any programmer.